It's not something to cheer, people. As you all know, uh, we're at 102, setting a new 53-year record high in Denver, all the metro area under an extreme heat advisory until Sunday. 102 is the, the top. Yep. We've come down. Uh, I'm seeing 100 on the screen, yeah. but is that Denver or DIA? That's, that's here at the studios, oh, right here. outside the okay. studios. That's Spear and Logan. You're seeing the 100. The 102 is official out at the official observation site out at DIA. And you guys, for some perspective, 105 degrees is the all-time record high for Denver. We're three degrees shy of that. Sun doesn't set till 828. So I'm fearful the number could go higher. And this is not the warmest day of the three-day heat wave. So we need to set in. We need to be prepared. We need to be safe. 102, that is just dangerous to be outdoors for any extent of time without proper hydration and shade. Working outside would be really difficult and probably dangerous at this point. We have temperatures still in the triple digits from Denver to Greeley to Sterling, Lamar and out across Grand Junction. This dome of high pressure is expanding over Colorado and the apex, the peak of this heat wave will occur, we think, Sunday. Heat advisory from the western U.S now involving Colorado tonight, tomorrow, Sunday, 99 to 104 degrees. Please remember pets and kids do not leave them in the car. And we're watching the wind as fire managers are dealing with that wildland fire outside of NCAR in Boulder, the dinosaur fire, any type of fire in these dry, hot conditions, uh, really just something we don't want to see. The air quality alert will be extended back into Denver through 4 o'clock tomorrow. And the storms we're tracking today have wind and lightning and not that rain.